That is a beautiful way to start off the episode. Hello, and welcome back to some more Let's Review Retro Play D101. Last time we did Racing Fighter. It was uh, it was okay. Uh, in this episode, we're gonna do Vanguard. Van 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 Gavad? I have no idea. Let's let's play it. Another one player. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not totally bad. I just blew up a dude. See what's on the. Oh, I got hurt. Oh, I guess it's my. Oh, they're turrets! Good thing for my lightning fast four directional tank. Oh! There we go. Fushamm! Oh, and I'm hurt. Okay, so if you if you press and hold, you can fire multiple rounds or something. Oh, oh, no, no! And just out of his line of fire. All right. Oh. Go. Oh, shoot! Ah. Oh, hello. We're giving a second chance. I don't see a life indicator anywhere. Do we just go until he's like, ah? Oh. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh! He's. Oh, he hurts. He hurts like a biggin. So I'm just outside their line of fire. No! Ah. Crap. Oh, oh, move! Thank goodness for invincibility frames. Alright. Oh! 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 Well, let's keep going! Oh, we have one life. Oh. So I have, I have missiles. Oh shoot! Oh, oh! That did a number. That done did a number. Move! Ah, crap. Oh, okay, good. It plays on the you have no lives left rule. That's good. Let's keep going. Am I sure of that? Nope. Oh. Shoot. Oof. Nope. Oh. <laughs> the joystick is not that good, so it's kind of hard to move. Yep, that... Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Alright, let's keep going. We can do this. Or we can die. Game over. Well, that was, uh, Vang. Vangvad. I guess. So, you know, sound design wise, you know, pretty basic like the previous game. Uh, there was a little bit of a difference when it came to the sound between um, your fire, you know, your different, you know, weapon types or whatever, and also, you know, what your enemies fired. Uh, 
Also, I think there was a little bit of a sound uh, if your your rounds hit something that wasn't the enemy. But you know, something very interesting. This um, this little opening you know title screen just says one player. It kind of makes me believe that they wanted to do two players, but then realized that they couldn't, and they kind of forgot to change the uh, the opening, uh, or not the opening, but the, the title screen. There are multiple stages. Uh, the game it has a little, little level of difficulty, part due to um, the enemies and part due to the controller, and I have to say, if the controller and how you move around in the environment and how you you know, defeat your enemies plays into, you know, this you know, level of difficulty, then that's probably not a good thing. Uh, overall, I was having a bit of fun, uh, but you know, I gotta keep these short for you guys. Will I play it again in the future? Probably. Um, you know, it's nice, it's small, it's short and sweet. Uh, it's a little difficult at times, kind of reminds me of like a prototype GG series game, like something that, you know, the GG series uh, would include. So what would I give this? Well, all things considered, I would probably give it uh, 7.5 out of 10. That's, uh, that's my honest to heart opinion. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, favorite, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And if you didn't like the video, that's why the dislike button is there. And tell me why in the comment section below. I'm Andrew Dorden, and I will see you guys next time. Later.